Hey everyone, it's Tuesday the 11th of April and it's almost 25 past 4 in the afternoon. Right, today's video. We're going to be doing an unboxing. Yep, the Amazon Returns box that I bought on eBay has actually arrived and it is full of stuff. Which surprised me because you never know if these are going to be a scam or not. But no, nope, it is quite a large box as well. So there it is. Now it's advertised as um, having 50 items in it, although the guy from Parcel Force that dropped it off did just mention, you know, the box has been splitting down the back. It weren't too bad. I actually split it more when I was dragging it into here. So if anything, there might be a couple of tiny little items missing, but I'm not too worried about that. So this box, 50 items, cost me 50 quid, so that's one pound per item, basically. Um, Speaking of, my mum's actually got to send an item back to Amazon because it arrived damaged. Um, I feel quite bad for her because, you know, she was really excited to get it. It's a brand new clock for the kitchen. Nice looking clock as well. You know, she took it out and she said, you know, need some batteries. I took one look at it and said, you've got to send it back. And she's like, why? I said, because you've got a bloody great crack going right across the front of it. <laughs> It's actually not a bad one. I found these in my local QD store. Fanta Zero Sugar and this one's a Strawberry and Kiwi. I just want to try something different and I was just uh, actually gone in to look for some tubs. <clears throat> uh, I bought a very large Lego Technic Porsche 911. Um, all disassembled they're 170 quid brand new and I paid just 60 for it. And obviously they disassembled it and they put it all in Ziploc bags and I just thought the easiest way is to sort all those bits out into tubs. I'll clear this crap off the worktop that's still here and I can come in here at some point and uh, build it. And that is all just stacked the other side here. Anyway, I've already uh, cut the tape on the box. I don't know why because it's already split so... We've seen some curious boxes on the top here. Let's start with a long one, shall we? What is this? It's a mouse pad. And I have got my knife here, so we can open things up as we go along. So this could be quite a long video, you know, there's 50 items in here. And some of them, like this, I do intend... ...to... Uh, I don't know why this was returned, there's a bit of a mark on it there, but it's just a, it's like one of those large mats you put your keyboard on it as well. Yeah, I, I really do not see anything wrong with that. I need some space to roll the damn thing up again now, don't I? So, in my mind, that was definitely worth the quid. You know what people do with these, don't you? They go on like eBay and whatnot, they buy these boxes or even pallets, because I know there's some places you can buy the pallets and I haven't rolled that up to so I'm going to try that again. And they car boot the stuff. That's what they do. They literally just car boot the stuff. Now, I'm actually going to ask a friend of mine if he would want this for his PC setup. As much as investigating. <laughs> You're a curious one, aren't you? I'll say that. You're yeah, definitely a curious one. Yeah, I'll see if a friend of mine wants that, and if he doesn't, then I'm probably just going to put it on the car boots. It's got to be worth at least a couple of quid, hasn't it? Well, that's a screw. I just stood on something on the floor that shot across that way towards you guys. And it's just a little screwdriver. They could use um, better boxes though. I've got a feeling these boxes have been kicking around for some time, right? What's this? There's a bit of weight in it. Amazon Basics. 
AAA high capacity rechargeable batteries, 12 pack, according to this. Is this taped up? This is still, this is still sealed, look! That seal hasn't been broken. Why would you return something? What, an error maybe? The tape has been cut there, but not here. I'm still taped up there. And we do indeed have twelve AAA rechargeable batteries still sealed. <laughs> For a quid. I don't know if I'd get get your hopes up about finding something like this on eBay. I mean, when I looked, most of the ones I found were only doing like 20 items for 20 quid or something like that. Okay. Stand these up. I'm going to have to stack some of the stuff behind me, I think, by the fish tank. That's okay. So we've got another Amazon Basics. High speed 4K HDMI cable, one pack. Well, I have actually got. Um, HDMI TV, so this is something. I've got a note with this one. Well, it just says so who it's from, apparently, and uh, an address on it. And that is it. So, this is something I'm going to test, although this has still got the um, protective caps on. We are going to have to connect this up to something and. Uh, I don't actually know if I've got an HDMI device now. Oh, one of my monitors is HDMI, so I'm going to try it on that. See if it works. I haven't got a 4K monitor, so it's no good to me. What's this? HP something. Where are they? HP Sprocket Plus. I think like. Anyone know? I have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. So that's four items. I'm not even counting. Uh, it's a smartwatch. no guarantee it's going to work, but, well, <laughs> there you go, a smartwatch. I'm not getting it to do anything there. It's got a USB cable with it, so I'll just have to put it on charge to see if I can get it to do anything. Awesome beans. Right, what else have we got? I need to be just a few inches taller. <laughs> we have got a power adapter for something. See, a lot of this has just been open, but the guy did say, you know, he just threw 50 items in a box. So he didn't even close them up properly. This looks like an... Is this an Apple adapter? That's what it looks like. Uh... Yeah, that does look like an Apple charger to me. I don't think it's a genuine one, but... I've got two MacBooks. I don't know if this will fit either one of them. Um, no, it's certainly not a genuine Apple. It just says power adapter on the books. Made in China. There's very little info on the box. I'm going to keep that in the box, though. It's just, just going to make storage a bit easier. Smudge is literally like having a child. He's doing nothing but getting in the way. <laughs> uh, it's a phone case that's in two halves.
Is that for one of them Samsung phones that fold in half? Maybe. I cannot think of any other phones that would need to be in two halves. Although that looks too big. Because my mum's got one of those phones and this looks a bit too big. It's definitely a phone case. I think. <laughs> There's something rattling around in that as well. Are they screws or what are they? Uh, just some bits of plastic that's come off of something. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely a phone case. Get out of it. None that's here is chasing the freaking AAA batteries. Right, what we've got here, we've got another box with Amazon Basics on it. Still look like, though this one's been opened, who is it? More AAA. Rechargeable batteries, an 8 pack apparently. Is that what we've got? Get out of it! Fuck off. We have indeed. See, I don't understand. I obviously haven't been tried because they're still all wrapped in the cellophane. So. Unless they, these are items, you know, that have been bought in error and been returned. There's another box here, seem like that. What's this one? 16 AWG speaker cable with gold-plated banana tips. Yep. That doesn't look cheap. That really does not look cheap. Good for my little brother is after anything like that. The rubbery phone case. What the hell? Is... Are you kidding me? There's a radio in here. <laughs> what have we got? We've got a bigger phone case. I think that's a bit big for my phone. Uh, only me different. Cat shit. Oh, I think this is another smartwatch of some description. Probably another cheapy thing. <laughs> Probably why that was returned. <laughs> it's cheap, it don't work. Yeah, I think that is just still got the um, screen protector on it. Well, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Have we got the USB cable with it? No USB cable? Just check in there. No, no charge cable with it, but there is a manual. We do have a manual with it. Our recycling bins already full. Right. Office headset, a bit squished, but it's there. I'll have to check to see if that works. And if it does, and if it's any good, I might see if a friend of mine would prefer to use that over what he's currently got. There's another, uh, looks like a speaker cable, RCA cable. Helpful put it in view of the camera. Donut. It's 
there. I can't see any signs this box has actually been opened. It looks like someone's just done exactly what I just did, you know, done that and uh, peeked in. And I've done that. <laughs> can't get the... There we go. So I'm just going to leave that in the box. If you're going to go out of them batteries again, you're going to get this stuck where the sun don't shine. Now this is actually handy. And I'm probably, if this does work and it's safe, of course, I'm going to check it over. I'll keep this one for myself because it's got switches and I love these with the switches. I don't know why, I just prefer mine with switches. So we've got a traveling socket. If you don't believe me that I've got a radio in here, like I said, I've got a little radio in here. <laughs> they call it a boombox, I think that's a bit uh, stretched in. It's got a CD player on it as well, but it is in there. Does it work? No idea. Portable CD player with radio. Right, that's out of the way. What have we got now? I don't know if that was part of it, but we've got this. Uh, Kodak Scanza digital film scanner. Is that actually? Remember that, or is that to do with something else? It's there. I haven't got any film to try it, but I can turn it on at least and see if it at least it turns on. Does this look like that's actually anything to do with that? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's the um, power supply. Guessing that goes with it, right? I don't know, but I'm guessing these go with it as well as they're floating around in there. Right. I'm going to make my life a little bit easier. Hang on. Well, I would have found you where my knife went. <laughs> Brute force then. Another audio cable from the looks of it. I can only see one end though, so I'm just trying to see what the other end is if it matches. Cats and bloody boxes. Oh, it's like an audio extension cable for like 3.5mm jack. It's got the jack on one end and the socket on the other. Yeah, not really anything I need, but I think I'd be lucky to get 50p for it on a curb route. Is that a USB card reader? No, it's a USB to HDMI adapter. Mm, not something I can use. Ooh, what have we got in here? Any guesses before I open it? <laughs> I really could do with my knife now. I don't know where I've, I've probably buried it somewhere. Can I use a kitchen knife instead if I'm careful? There we go. At remote control. Is it like one of them um, universal ones? There's no instructions with it, so I wouldn't know how to set it up. But for the quid, have we even got batteries? No, oh, and have got batteries. RM series. Could be a universal one. Let me get 
put that down there that we need it in the bubble wrap. We've got what looks like I was gonna say HDMI but it's not that is display port. I've had monitors with DisplayPort on, but I've never, actually no, I've had um, GPUs with DisplayPort on, but never a monitor. There just seems to be something that never took off. I don't know if I should actually call that one out. <laughs> it's because of what it's called. It might get me into trouble. So we've got a sealed box of uh, AA batteries. I don't think they're rechargeable looking at those. No, they're alkaline. And quite a few batteries in. Really? Don't you look at me like that? Unbreakable phone case apparently. That's what it's got written on it, unbreakable. Um, just looks like it's some sort of protective sheet. I'm not sure what. Ultra thin and transparent. It's anything hidden under the barcode is the no. What's that? Comprehensively. Antibacterial and anti scold, waterproofing and dust proof. And all I can see on there is a picture of a computer keyboard. So is that like a cover for that? Or covers, maybe? I don't know. Not a clue. And I'm guessing that's a Bluetooth speaker. Sound call Bluetooth speaker. Yep. It turned on. My phone's not on. So... <laughs> I'm scared the hell out of the cat. <laughs> I haven't got my phone near me, so I can't test to see if it'll connect to Bluetooth, but. It turned on. What's this? Holy crap, it's a big spindle of DVD-Rs. Something I'm definitely keeping. Four K full HD what? Oh it's a TV digital antenna thing. Yes, yeah, just one of them, you know, for your free view portable one. Running out of room. <laughs> Holy crap, that is heavy. I'm going to say that's full of batteries. Oh my God. Is it open? I think it's been taped back up from the looks of it. Yeah, it has. Is it full of batteries? Ooh! It's full of D cells. Now, oddly, when I was watching my mate Vince go through his box on YouTube, that's his channel name by the way, he's not my mate. <laughs> he actually had a box of these as well. Surge extension lead with USB um, power on it. Got the USB power sockets. Well, this is something interesting and useful. Well, it actually says this item does not work. <laughs> no. 
could that be a something as simple as a fuse? So I've plugged it in. I've got a blue light. Let's just uh, see if this part of it works. Well, that part of it works. Uh, I've got nothing that I can run from USB in here either. Right. And what I will do then, I'm going to leave this here. When I've gone through this box, I'll um, go through to the other room and I'll see if I can find something, you know, I could do, like, I could put my phone on charge, actually. That's what I'll do, so I'll put this over here as well. So I need my phone in here anyway, um, to see if that Bluetooth speaker works. I think this might have a problem. Um, it does require batteries. I think it's a dab radio. It's a very cheap one though. That's a speaker rally around. I'm guessing this got dropped. Maybe during shipping to the customer. Um, I think your guesses will be as good as mine. I'm really not 100% certain what that is. Uh, Bedlam, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to um, investigate that one further. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> A whole bag of 9 volt batteries there. Isn't it? And I've all got, I was thinking that's not the best way to store them, but they've all got plastic caps on them. Obviously, I'm not going to test all of these in this video because we'll be here all night. I will test a few though. And same with those D cells because some of them are open. Another phone case. It's a good way of getting rid of phone cases that nobody wants, and you throw it in a box like this. That's another. Um, USB 3 to HDMI. So I've got two of those. It's a camera. Does that really print off instant photos? It's a Fuji film, so you know, it's not a complete cheap Chinese brand. I don't really know how good Fujifilm is though, because I've never used one. Okay. There's the manual, that's good. And put the manual back in there. Well, I'm assuming it has, but ah, that's got batteries in it. Are they any good? Who knows? It's only like a uh, an ons and off button on this. Nope, we've got what looks like a light sensor there. Oh. flashing light. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll have to look in the manual because it could mean it's working, it could mean there's a fault. I have absolutely no idea. Well that seems to be how you turn it on. You press that in, the lens pops out and then that light starts flashing. I don't know if it's meant to don't know. I've got a button at the top here, I don't know what that does.
Could it be because there's actually, uh, you know, nothing in there? Oh, it's not what these are for, is it? Um, Kodak card things I found. Maybe. I don't know. I know this is a Fuji film, but I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look into that one. This. Did that come out of this box for the camera? No, nope. it came out for that surge protector. Need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> oh look! Another phone case. <laughs> um, it's an anchor, apparently. written on it. It's just, uh, don't look like it's ever been open. That's the original seal I just broke. It's a USB-C to USB-C from the looks of it. I don't know if anchor cables are any good. That's quite a good length as well. Got series five written on it. Standing in my own bloody light, so I can't read it. Uh, I don't have USB C on the PC though. I was actually thinking of getting a little uh, PCIe card just to upgrade that. We ain't got much more in here. Batteries, do you think? Been opened. Been opened and uh, there's a little bit of tape stuck on it. More rechargeable triple eyes. I've got them coming out my backside now. These ones aren't actually sealed, but they are still nicely packaged. They were nicely packaged till I just pulled that off. I'm not going to sit there. I'm going to put my uh, multimeter on a few. So I'm going to pause in a bit so I can go and get that. Uh, I'm going to lay that flat. Get rid of that bit because I'm not going to keep them in there. Well, I have to say, so far... I'm not really that disappointed because there's a lot of stuff in here I could use. Possibly some stuff I could get rid of that car boot as well. Let me in, let me in, little box. I want to know what you are. <laughs> every language on that apart from English. <laughs> no, all right, I'm getting medieval on the box. There we go. What are you? Ooh. You know what as well? Like my mate Vince I watch on YouTube, he had one of these. That was also returned. So this does double A's and triple A's. And I've got the manual there. I'm not going to fanny ass around putting that back. Because if it works, I'll definitely keep it. So that can go to one side. I seem to have a couple of the. Oh, these are USB. Lightning to 3.5mm audio jack. Oh, these are for apples. And USB-C to lightning. Don't know anyone that has... Actually, I might. Um, my brother might and my sister might. I'm going to ask those on Facebook later if they would uh, 
want those because I don't use um, iPhone. Wireless charger. Yeah, I might be able to get a few quid for that to car boot. I don't use wireless charging so it's no good to me. And I don't know anyone who would. Or who does. And I found a box those HP sprocket things come, come out of. I've no idea what that is, but I just found that laying in the bottom of the box as well. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure I want to say that out loud on YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, it's an alarm clock. It is there. Does it work? I have no idea. Apparently it's for the deepest sleepers. AVC um, over here for headphones. Now, is that off because it's broken or what? Check that out in a bit. Some more earphones. I think they are the sort, they go over your ears, but they sort of hook over your ears from the looks of that. Right, we need um, some Apple Earpods. <laughs> More bloody AAA batteries. I'm certainly good for them for a long time, especially if I use rechargeable and everything, assuming they're all good. Are these rechargeable ones or are they just alkalines or something? They're Amazon Basics. I'm assuming the green ones are just the rechargeable ones. Radio Wecker. Not kidding, that's what it says. Radio Wecker. Not in English either. It's Philips. Ah, if I turn it over onto that side, it's in English. <laughs> Start your day your way. It's got French underneath it. Ah. Are you getting upset now because I've blocked your path to the sink? Right, one more item. That's whatever is in this. It is a TV antenna. <laughs> That's all that is. Funky little uh, TV antenna. I'd love to know how at these factories, you know, they manage to pack everything so nicely in a box. And yet, as soon as you get it and you open it up, it never ever, ever goes back in the box. I can't even take this cardboard downstairs yet because the uh, recycle bins are both full. So, right, I think I'm just going to pause the camera uh, just so I can get rid of this box out of the way and I'll uh, get my phone out of my jacket pocket and we'll uh, see if a few of these items actually work.
I will say that, we've got a good selection of batteries in this, you know. I mean, there's no harm in having a bag full of these, 9 volters. Yeah, right. So I'll just pause you and I'm going to... I'll make a bit of room. Oh, what was it I need? Oh, I need my um, multimeter, or at least one of them. Right. Be right back. Okie dokie. Got me fun. So, we already know the circuit, the circuits, the sockets work on this, but if I take out the spotlights up there, see it goes dark, and if I plug them in, yeah, they come back on again. Let's just make sure that all six. Yeah. That one was a bit stiff, but it works. That one works. Yeah, they all work. I've already done that one. So, will my phone charge if I do this? There's nothing wrong with it. Yep. There's nothing wrong with it. So, what does it mean by not working? Maybe someone just returned it as saying not working. And they were just finding it a bit tricky to plug something in. But <laughs> that is working perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with it. I mean, until a surge happens, you can't really tell if the surge protector works or not. So... Oh, I've got a photograph of all this. I might have to do it in a few different photographs, I think. Right, so, we'll scare the crap out of the cat again. I'm going to get rid of that box. So, let's turn the speaker on. I might have to pull a YouTube video up on this because I don't have any music on here. Plenty of games, just no music. So, put me Bluetooth on. So, I've got to remember how to pair it. Go into settings, I'm guessing. Bluetooth. It's found it. Soundcore Motion Booth. Apparently what that is, so I'm gonna collect. I'm gonna collect, I'm gonna connect. It's pairing. It's paired. Right, um, If I run a game, will the game audio come through that? If not, I'll dig up a YouTube video or something. It's working. <laughs> it's actually working. I don't know what TWS is. So I'm just playing one of these talking, talking Tom games. <laughs> it actually works. It's got a bass button. I was just looking for somewhere to charge it. It must. Okay. 
we just come out of this game. Mm -hmm. When it lets me, we can. Where's that? Where did I just throw the USB cable that came out of that? Because that's USB C. I was just going to um, plug it into something just to see if it charges. Because maybe that's the problem. Maybe it doesn't charge. So, I'm going to put this back in because we know this works. Plug this in. Turn it on. Turn there. I've got a charge light. That's just lit the power button is just lit up red. See if I disconnect the char uh, USB cable, it goes off. So it seems to be charging as well. So there's also a USB um I don't know if that's an output or an input, but there is a standard USB socket on the back there as well. Now I have got a Bluetooth speaker. This one seems to be better. He thinks I'll keep this one and I'll probably car boot the other one. So, so far we're two for two. Um, what was that? Those are the headphones. That's a mouse mat. Uh, there's not really a lot I can do with that. <laughs> Headphones I'm going to try later. What else was it I wanted to... Oh yeah, I'll... Um... Oh. I might put some batteries in this just to see if it does actually work. One, two, three, four double A's. I've got double A's over there. I'll open those up. I thought this battery pack was hinged, it's not, it's just a bloody bathroom sticker. Unless this has got USB power on it or something. It's got 5 volt normal power jack on it, but we just make it USB-C, it's what everything uses these days. I've got a feeling it could just be that that speaker's come loose. I actually hear a re heard a relay click off when I just turned this uh, surge protected socket off. Let's just uh, take a couple and uh, have a drink. You're all going to want to know if that CD player work, aren't you? And if these alarm clocks work. I'm going to have to pause again and just go and grab some batteries. Oh, this one is uh, powered by an adapter. You just put your 9 volt battery in there to keep the um, memory. Um, what's this? Super shaker bed vibrator. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing a mains adapter, so do you put a 9 volt battery in this then? No, I've got a bag of them here. Oh, there's my standing knife. I was looking for that. Right. These uh, 9 volt batteries haven't even been opened until I just opened them. So, oh yeah, they charge. <laughs> so I was actually thinking, you know, because there is a 
adapter port there. I'm still thinking this could be for just the memory, but we'll find out. I tell you what, I don't give you enough epoxy. <laughs> if I can get the battery on, yeesh, I don't give you enough uh, cable there. I probably shouldn't do this with a standing knife because I cut the battery wires. It's not doing anything with a it look like it flashes a bright LED at you as well. So what does it need? I think a nine volt um, power supply from the looks of it. Yeah, DC nine volts. So that's what I've got to find up. I can't try that in this video because I haven't got one at hand. I'm not seeing an, an instruction manual with this either, so I'm going to have to just guess. <laughs> just put the shaker in the wrong place, and that's got to go. Might have better luck with the other alarm clock and see if that works. I know alarm clocks aren't quite Alright. Let's have a look at this one. This one has been taped up again. Preferably without cutting the fingers off. And I'm going to assume if one battery's good then the others are good. I'm going to stick the meter on it as well and just double check that. Phillips power brick. Ooh, if that's 9 volts, maybe I can use that on the other one. That's 5 volts. I needed 5 volts for that, didn't I? That dab radio, maybe. If you're lucky. Well, I've got a display. There's no weight in that whatsoever. But I've got a display. got dodgy buttons on it. It's tuning the radio very slowly though. I don't know if you can see that count that very radio works, I'm just having difficulty setting the time. It looks like you're meant to press Preset. The preset doesn't seem to work. That seems to be the one that's got an issue. Yeah, that seems to be the only button that isn't working. The alarm buttons work, the radio button work, the tuning buttons work. Tuning buttons are also the um, time set buttons. It's just a preset one. Maybe it's got a dodgy button or a dodgy solder joint on it. Uh, oof. That's quite a tiny jack. Is that going to... Oh, well, you know, it does. No, we are dead, apparently, unless I will. Oh, it's an alarm clock. I 
yeah, I'm not getting anything, but I don't know if that's actually going to make connection in there. It's not, because I plugged it in the headphone jack. Tit. And that doesn't fit. That's why it's not working, people. Read your jacks properly. Alright then, what I'll do... We've got a brand new pack of uh, triple A's here. Not triple A's, double A's. Pack of eight in total. Just bung them in. And we'll see if it does work. So it's another three alarm clocks then. I don't know if that funky one actually... Uh, Well, unless these batteries are dudded ones. Oh. That battery has actually, that battery, that button has actually broken. Yeah, that power button's not going down, so that might be the issue with that one. Well, I've got to open it up, regardless, to put that speaker back in, so maybe... Test my solving skills and uh, change a couple of buttons on these, the ones that don't work. I'm keep those batteries in it. Actually, let's just check they are good. Wrong one. That was uh, AC, not DC. I need a DC. Can't see why they wouldn't be. I mean, they're brand new in the pack. 1.63 volts, perfectly fine. There's a 9 volt battery here. I think I might have to be putting it around the wrong way, but that doesn't matter. 9.55 volts, so yeah. They're good as well. I'm going to put this back on now. Okay. Okay, so while I've got that open, or turned on, I should say, not open, was it this one? No. Oh no, it's the bigger box there, wasn't it? Absolutely chock full of them. I just want to see um, if those loose AAA batteries have a charge in them. I think we're in this one. Let's just get this. Uh, Not that one either. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, just see if these have got charge in them. 1.3 volts. The average for a rechargeable battery like that is about 1.2 volts, so they are charged. Right. In that case, then, where did I put that uh, battery charger I had earlier? So I'll plug that in, he says. Headphones, socket. <laughs> I've actually managed to lose it. Um, right, this can go back in here, can't it? Because uh, this does need looking at. You know, I'm, str I'm solely blaming YouTuber, my mate Vince, for this. But it is fun. I am having fun. So much fun, in fact, I might actually do this again in the future. Because I, I, um, I still have the seller on my eBay, so if he has actually got another one, I might buy another one. You know, just for the, the poops and giggles. somewhere because I wanted to uh, did I put it back in the box? I did. <laughs> right, so we can unplug that. I'm gonna plug this in. This has got an L C D screen on it as well. That has lit up and it went off. Right, which way round have he's got to go? I'm assuming with 
the negative negative side down. What it's like on most charges anyway. Ooh. I think I might find an issue with this one. Did I not put it in right? Oh, I didn't put it in right. Oh, if that was the problem, because my mate Vince, like I said, he had one of these and his worked, even though it was meant to be faulty. They're charging. As they're registering on my meter here is fully charged. I can't imagine they're going to take long, but yeah, I've got four symbols. See if I can just bring you in at a better angle so you can see. See? Can I get a bit of a, a zoom in? Yeah. Actually, I, I can't remember if his had that little digital display on it or not. But I know he did get a little battery charger like that. Right. So that's got a dodgy button on it. And again, when I was watching um, his video, he had stuff there that had no faults with it, as well as stuff with faults. And consider I've got lots of batteries. Um, that are good. I'll just do a uh, couple of these D cells next. Because these ones have been opened. I turned the bloody meter off, didn't I? So are you charged? Fully charged. 1.61 volts. There we go. Nothing wrong with them. Like I said, he got the exact same box like this as well. It's actually great for him because he repairs a lot of older toys. So a lot of the older toys from like the 70s and 80s actually use D cells and C cells. Nowadays, because they shrunk everything, um, it all uses either double A's, triple A's, or has a built-in battery. So I'm going to leave that like that for a little while. And see if it does a... Oh! <laughs> I didn't see these because I was stuck to that extension socket packet. And some of these. Um, sort of watch battery type button cells. Well that reminds me, I'm going to try those uh, smart watches that I've got here. Got this one. I've actually got a USB doodah plugged in there. A doodah, dicky doodah. Right. Oh, I see. It's magnetic. Like on a. Whoa! Green light just came on and it vibrated. No matter what way around, oh, will it be magnetic? I did wonder if you could put it on either way, but you can't because of the magnet. Right, that vibrated, so I'm just going to leave that there just to see if that will charge. Let's have a look at this, because I didn't even look at this properly, did I? Okay, so we have got power cable. Even that card boot, I doubt I'd get much more than a fiver for this. If I was lucky. There's only a cheap little thing. It even feels cheap. Now I haven't got a CD in here, so I can't try that. Plus, I'll get copyright strike, so what I will do, I'll put 
put the CD in um, off camera and I'll just note it down in the description. If it's a yay it does work or a nay it doesn't work. There's tuning. Ah. That's FM. Let's turn the volume down and this is my tuning. Got AUX on the side here as well. Oh, and headphones. I mean, I could get a CD, but it means squeezing past the camera. Um, yeah, I'll do the CD um, off cam. Those are those D-cell batteries, aren't they? Um, where's the other smartwatch? There it is. This as well, I think. Let's see if we can get this to do anything. Ah, maybe those Kodak card things actually go with this. Ooh, memory card in it. Oh, it's only one gigabyte. Mm -hmm. I suppose for photos though, you don't really need a huge uh, memory card, do you? I just had a bloody USB cable. So. Is that USB? Looks like a micro HDMI. So, how does this thing power? TV out. Yeah, it is um, HDMI. USB cable. Um. Okay, screen lifts up. I don't see anywhere to power it. Spray that again. Uh, unless it is from a USB cable. Don't know that one. I'll have to put that one on the back burner for now. I don't know if there's meant to be a green light that stays on while that uh, when the smart watch is charging. I'm not sure how you go about powering this one. Direction for the first use. Okay, so we've got uh, Chinglish, as they say. I think I'll stick this one in the back burner as well because I don't think that's going to be as simple. That, to be fair, I prefer the other one. doing anything. 
thing yet. No, we'll just have to uh, leave that I think. I've not had the green light flash again, so I, I don't know if that's working or not. These are charging. There's those scales that are flashing up and down. They're actually going up now. It has on three of them anyway. This one here, on my fingers, that hasn't got yet. Oh, now it has. And it even tells you if they're bad. It's got charge ready and bad written at the top. think that was terribly bad personally. It could have been a lot worse. I mean there is a lot of stuff I doubt I'm gonna be able to do much with. Um, ah, there does seem to be a manual in the bottom of that one so I'll have to look into that one another time. Ah yeah that's micro HDMI to HDMI. I'm assuming that's so you can connect it to a monitor or a TV or something like that. Right then, what I want to do now... I'm going to open these up in a bit as well and see if I can fix those. Pardon me. Yeah, what I'd like to do now... <laughs> Once I've ended the video, I'm going to try and arrange all the stuff, and I think I'll have to clear this shite off of this warp top. What's that? Amazon Basics. That was for the AAA batteries. I don't need those. I'm not sure you could actually make any money from it. Not if you are honest, anyway. I mean, if I was dishonest, I could just car boot stuff like this, you know, not knowing it was working, and say, oh yeah, it works. <laughs> you know, it's a fiver, something cheap. Yeah, I'm not like that, though. If it doesn't work, it doesn't go on the car boot, simply. Um, oh, yeah, got that camera. I'm team bloody... What do you call it? Phone cases. And have a bit of a count up as well and, to, and see if there was actually 50 items. We'll see if I was stunned. <laughs> right. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know my camera angles are crap. I apologise for that. I've got a small kitchen. <laughs> um, I need an overhead camera really, don't I? That would be a better idea, but I haven't got nothing to mount yet above my head. I might have to see if I can uh, fabricate something. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. As always, I'll leave links to my other two YouTube channels in the description down below. Enjoy playing with that box? <laughs> um, as well as to my Discord server, so come and join us over there and have a chat and hang out and whatnot. And uh, if you'd like to, that is. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.